A comprehensive long-term approach to community safety was addressed to City of Tacoma officials. The focus including connecting with neighbors, enjoying clean streets, providing safe places for youth and supporting local families and businesses. A community action strategy was established. With me today is Gabe Moali'i to discuss what the strategy is about and how it affects our community. Hello, Gabe. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And welcome to the City of Tacoma. You're a new family member as of August. Yes. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you for being here. So let's dive right in, shall we? Sure. All right. So, Gabe, can you tell our viewers what is the inspiration behind creating the strategy? Yeah. So the inspiration was that you know, we really need to look at community safety as more than crime and policing. Yes. So community safety action strategy is our long-term holistic strategic approach to community safety mm -hmm. that includes traditional public safety response, but also includes a lot more, you know, being connected to your neighbors, living in neighborhoods that have clean streets, um, having places for kids to play. Um, and the reason for this is two things. One is because that's what we've been hearing from community members. They've been telling us for a long time what makes them feel safe in their community. So when we ask that question, it's not only police. Mm -hmm. um, and the other um, big part of that was coming through a recommendation from the 21st Century Policing Report that said, you know, two things. One, your community needs a shared definition of safety mm -hmm. and you need a coordinated strategic approach. Mm -hmm. And so Gabe, can you let our viewers know what's different about this community safety action strategy versus other initiatives or projects in the past? Yeah. So I think one thing is important that it's building on past work. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of work that's already happening right now around community safety. Um, I think one of the difference is it's really helping set up that framework to think about community safety and not just public safety. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is looking at um, kind of all the conditions that make people feel safe. Yes. Um, and so it's really starting with looking at the, the long-term social, economic, environmental conditions. That's kind of where we start with the strategy. Mm -hmm. um, and then we look at how do we really invest in people and prevention. So, you know, not that we can solve all crimes or prevent all violence, but, you know, if we can, as much as possible, that's, you know, that's where we should focus. Um, and then we really do need to respond effectively mm -hmm. and with care. Um, and so that's looking at not just, um, again, our public safety response, but really looking at alterna alternative and additional responses. Right. Um, and then promote healing and repair. And so this is really where we're looking at how do we come together after things have already happened? How do we support individuals and community-wide healing um, and repair? And so all of these elements together, you know, form community safety. And I think that one of the differences is that we're not just focusing on one piece, that we're really focusing on how they all work together, yes. um, how they interrelate, and really kind of setting that blueprint that the city of Tacoma can use to take actions, mm -hmm. but also be kind of a call to action and a call to partnership for really everyone that's working in Tacoma, including our community members. Yes, and that healing piece is very vital as well, you yes. know, and we speak um, a lot about community. So why is the word community so central for this initiative? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, why it's so central is because really this is about the community's vision and the community's definition of safety. So it's not necessarily what, you know, we think of safety as, as city employees, but what's the community's vision? And then how do we translate that? Mm -hmm. And how do we address that through, you know, all the levers and all the different ways that um, City of Tacoma can? Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think another difference is, you know, there's a difference between perception of safety and the lived experience of people. And so we're really centering that in this to make sure that it's not just about, um, you know, that we're really making sure that everyone feels safe mm -hmm. and addressing all the different ways that different populations and communities feel safe, which is different yes. for really a lot of our populations and communities in Tacoma. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, Gabe, can you tell our viewers what are some of the pieces or projects that are already underway 
or in place that are contributing directly to community safety. Yeah. So one of the, you know, most exciting and I think that's been a long term or a lot of people have been working on to make um, come alive is is one is our hope team. And so this is uh, what we're calling an uh, alternative response um, to um, 911 calls. So in general, when people call 911, mm -hmm. um, you either get a fire response or a police response. But we know that there's a whole range of reasons why, you know, people need what support looks like in times of emergency. And so we have, we've been standing up different responses. And so one is a behavioral health crisis response team. We're also working on um, having community service officers that are more, um, that are more can address a wider range of issues than just, you know, violent crime or assault. And so just really kind of broadening the types of response that's mm -hmm. available to people right. um, to add capacity and also making sure we're responding in the right way to what community needs. So that's something that's going on now that will absolutely be part of the community safety action strategy, but has been in the works for a bit. Absolutely. And so last uh, question or so, uh, Gabe, what do community members say they want from the plan? Yeah, so what we've been hearing, um, it, it definitely varies, right? Yes. Um, but it definitely, you know, one of the most common themes that comes up actually is a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. People want to feel like they belong in this community. They want to feel like they are connected to their neighbors, yes. that they have, you know, places for their families and their businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it's things like infrastructure stuff, so making sure that they have safe sidewalks or safe ways to walk to park or, you know, lighting in their neighborhood or that their neighborhood's clean. So there's lots of different things that make up safety. Right. And again, we do hear, you know, police presence, police response, but it's usually not the first thing that comes up in people's conversations. Well, and I think it's very vital and important and it speaks, you know, volumes to this strategy that the community is being involved, that they have the opportunity to be involved, and I'm sure the community community members appreciate that. So, you know, just to wrap this up, what can members of the Tacoma community expect next on the Community Safety Action Strategy? Yeah, and well, I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, community safety, while the city of Tacoma has a large role, we're not the only ones, and we're not, you know, we can't do it alone. So right. we really need everyone to come together. And so I think one thing that we'll be working on, and this will be more in January, is going out and doing more community engagement that's really reflecting back. What have we already heard? Right. Just to make sure that's, you know, we're getting it right. Um, and that we're calling people into partnership with us to say, you know, this is a, as we like to say in our office, a complex problem. Right. We definitely don't have all the answers, yes. but we have some, you know, things that we think we wanna do, but we also wanna make sure that we're calling everyone to the table to say, hey, it's not gonna be one solution. Yes. It's gonna be many things, um, and we wanna make sure it resonates with the city of Tacoma, the residents, the strengths that exist mm -hmm. here, the gaps, you know, and so, so in the coming months, um, well, one thing, we have a new website, so that's live. Okay. Um, we've presented to council, so that also is a deeper dive mm -hmm. and some more context on a little bit more how the strategy is laid out and the scope of the strategy. Um, and then we'll expect to see some more public facing events mm -hmm. and then probably some more focused community engagement. So again, kind of going back to the community, we are know that safety impacts different communities differently. And so we're gonna do more engagement on how do we actually work with some of those communities that are more impacted by crime or violence or some of the um, conditions that lead to unsafe neighborhoods. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Gabe. Yeah. That was a plethora of information. We appreciate you being here. And we're looking forward to seeing it progress and hearing more about the program. We yeah. hope to have you back on the show again. I'm sure we will. And once again, thank you for being here and sharing that information with our viewers. Thank you. All it was right. wonderful to be here and meet you. And yes. it's been a very great time. You so. as well. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you.